how's it going everybody and welcome back to the channel now as you can see we've gained some things so we have a silo of solid fertilizer and a silo full of lime not quite full of solid fertilizer but it was really quite pricey and down here we do have a jet wash which is excellent so today we are focusing on contracts to try and build our money up just for a change we are skinned again and I do believe I think I selected some I did so we got field 65 and field 21 both want liming so I think in memory of Andy we will use his old tractor oh no that is the vulture we don't want the vulture we want this one the Schluter. This is a wonderful machine. I really like this tractor. And we'll get filled up with lime. And then we will fill our small green trailer up with lime. And put that on the Voltra. So we can... Not need to constantly keep running forwards and backwards to the farm. So I think we'll start with the larger field, field 65. Uh, let's just pull this up here. We'll get the gates open and get the green trailer filled up with lime on the back of the Voltra. In fact, we'll use the Fiat because the Fiat needs a wash, the trailer needs a wash. So even if we just use it to wash the wash everything off that will be fine and get that all done all lovely lovely and this will be our refill point whilst we get these contracts done and I might need to get the silo refilled as well but that can wait until we've made some pennies so let's get everything cleaned up oh it's gonna look fabulous <coughs> the fiat will be in its prime once again ready to work like the absolute trooper it is i really do like this tractor i'm so glad that in many ways the collector was not interested in buying it but at the same time i was sort of offended that he wasn't interested in buying it because in my opinion out of all three tractors this was by far the best one i say three tractors well i suppose the massey was technically a tractor that had just been converted to being a sprayer we also need to lime our own field just for a change we putting everyone else before ourselves and i think we'll get this down to field 65 oh field 21 needs doing as well Okay, we'll probably run this to field at 65 and then walk back and get in the Schluter. And then probably do field 21 first. I reckon that we can do that in one tank. So, I will... Where is field 65? That is a question in itself. We are heading... Ooh, way so it's a right and then a right and I'm in a tree great forwards there we go so 
so I will see you when we rock up to field 21 we've got quite some money in these two contracts so it should bounce our books back pretty quickly is the hope anyway uh, just coming past Andy's farm I haven't heard from Andy's wife recently so I'm assuming no news is good news but it is a real shame to have lost a local farmer and I'd, this is quite rare to get the feet out on the road as well but I will stop rabbling on and I'll see you when we're ready to do some work and here we are ready at field 21 so let's get that on blimey look at that spread and I wonder how fast this is going to go down but at the same time how fast we'll get it done I'm just going to go straight down the middle here and split this field basically in two uh, it's going to make things a lot easier we can then do the field over two sections and obviously this field will be done then Sam will be most happy I hope so what we'll do is we will queue a time lapse and I'm going through a lot of lime but the farm's not too far away so it is definitely something that we can work with just taking a quick trip back to the farm I think that is a problem with the spread 10% already so nonetheless bloody hell that is disappearing we will get on with today's jobs and we'll probably get both fields done in one humongous time lapse so we'll get the radio on and the tunes pumping and get this done
being typically British weather, it is pouring it down. So we can't really put lime down in the rain, it will just get washed off the fields. But I got a feeling what's in this trailer is not going to be enough. So I'm going to hike back to the farm and get, bring the vulture down with another trailer of lime. And then we can use that for carting the road with the lime and use the fiat for going across the fields. Oh god, this is... Oh! sheep sounds this is definitely not the weather I was hoping for I need to actually let's whilst I'm under these trees let's get under a nice low one so I'm dry as possible this this seems like as good a place as any let's have a look at the weather and we've got rain until 12 o'clock so another hour and a half of it, I'm going to be drenched by the time I get home. That is safe to say. And I've come to the conclusion that we need a much larger lime silo. So that is also going to be quite problematic. Bloody hell, he's got a lorry on his driveway. You don't see that every day. I'm, I might just cut through someone's garden. Uh, be a little bit of a shortcut back home. Right, this will do. We'll just quickly run through here. <coughs> there we go. So we'll just keep heading back to the farm and get filled up, get uh, the other trailer filled up with lime and get that down to the work site or the work field, the job. So I'll see you when I get back there. And I've just made it back. And the sky is just starting to brighten it up. So hopefully in the next five or ten minutes. Oh, this ground is soaked. Oh no, this might not go to plan, but I'm going to spray it regardless. It's not my field and he's not paying for me to worry about how wet or dry the ground is. I think this this particular farmer is quite a ruthless farmer. Please don't go wrong. There you go. So, but this is a huge contract. It is worth quite a few pennies for us. Ninety-five thousand pounds. So we can. This is they're coming in thick and fast. Field eleven seventy-seven thousand. And if we put the details on it needs a lot uh, that's with those machineries where is the machine the 41,000 185,000 litres is what it's going to require and here we've got about 50,000 litres so we've got quite a lot to bring over I've got a feeling we might end up emptying these uh, just in the headland but once that's done we have a good spread on this sprayer I don't know how I feel about this camera view it, it, rather confuses me but the rain just isn't letting up but the sky is clearing up it is gently raining well I need it to stop raining just stop if it could stop raining that would be great but it doesn't seem to be so 
Ah. Eating my own words. Let's get spraying. So I want to start right up in this top corner. We've just gone from white to mud on the tyres. I want to start up here so we can get this section out of the way and done. These sections are... Oh, that's the wrong button. There we go. These sections are always particularly awkward. Oh, we're very close to the fence line there. So let's get on with the time lapse. This section will get done nice and quick. And that will allow us to make some good laps. So I will speak to you all soon. this exercise all I've done is made everything muddy so we need to get all of this back to the farm and into the respective silos I think it will all actually go in the big one um, yeah an inconvenience at its minimum but we will get everything back and uh, stop for a bite to eat and I'll probably invest in a larger silo and see if I can rent a trailer or something that would allow for a filling up the spreader struggling for words as usual so I think I'll see you once I've sorted all this errors out and this is the solution uh, we've rented a case Steger 9390 
and a huge auger wagon that I have already tested and does fill up the sprayer which is now on the back of the Voltra it should be a little bit quicker that way we'll leave Andy's tractor here and get these down to the field so I think we'll take the slowest one first and I'll just turn that beacon off like so and let's get these down and get this contract finally finished I've also got rid of the silos and changed it for a lime and fertilizer buying station so it only does the two so it's not that bad at all this is an absolute huge unit I might have to turn the traffic off just so I can get down the roads oh no it seems like we'll be okay so I'll see you once we've got everything there this holds an awful lot as well it might well be worth us investing in one of these in the not so distant future as well there's a lot of things on our shopping list so let's get this last contract finished today and that will be us for this episode after that I'll see you when we get there and here we are back woohoo bit of air there back at the field so let's just get straight on with it and get this done as quick as we can
and we're done finally it's been a long evening to get this done and it is finally happened we did spend a little bit too much on lime and I'll just turn the vulture off whilst we run this one back that can stay there tonight I'll come and pick that up in the morning I need to get home and get myself to bed otherwise we will not be up in time in the morning and nobody wants that Oh, what a long day. We were up at six. Six? No, eight. Up at eight. And if we're lucky, we'll be home by nine. It's a 13 hour day of solid working, and we need to cash this contract in as well. And I will get up first thing in the morning and go and pick the vulture up from the middle of that field. But we will cash that contract in on the way home. On the way home. Once I get home. And I will drop the dealership an email for them to pick this up. They'll probably pick it up quite early. They usually do. Probably be in the yard for about 6 o'clock. So I'll have to leave the gates open tonight. What a fantastic tractor this is though. It's a bit slow. But... It had no issues pulling that trail up when it was full. And I feel like we'd still be doing that contract now if we didn't rent this bit of kit. I need to put my lights on actually. <coughs> so sometimes it is worth renting the larger bits of kit. It's a bit, not the tractor so much, but the trailer is a bit wide for the roads. It's a bit nerve-wracking when oncoming traffic is coming at you. And they don't like to slow down either. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. But they really are quite brave when you think... This is probably a 13-ton tractor. Oh, I can actually get the specs up uh, later on. But yeah, you know, I'm quite happy with it really um hopefully michael hammond is as well i know sam is always happy with the work he receives off us and i do want to buy that field off of him it is nice and close to home and we've got a good bit of discount now so you know that makes a big difference as well we just need to buy at the right time when the field prices are at their lowest. But nonetheless, I'm going to uh, continue this drive home. And thank you all so much for watching. It's been a, a very long one today. And I will see you all in the next one.